All right. Well, we're on to the next Christmas review, and well, I guess I finally realized what was missing from these. Eggnog! So, maybe wondering, why is there a picture of Bill Goldberg on my Christmas tree? Well, because we are reviewing 2005 film Santa's Sleigh, spelled S-L-A-Y, and by the killer Santa Claus, played by Bill Goldberg, who goes around a place called Hell's Township, killing people. This is the most unbelievable story you'll ever hear. So apparently, Santa has always been evil. But a thousand years prior to this film, he and an angel made a wager, a curling contest. Whoever got the uh, curling thing closest to a hell hole won. And if Santa lost, then he had to be good for a thousand years. And the angel, not this angel, knocked Santa's curling thing into the hellhole. That meant that Santa then had to be nice for a thousand years. So apparently. The only reason why Santa gives gifts to people is because he lost a curling match to an angel and is forced to be good. I want to start off by saying this movie is weird. It's balls to the walls and there's a lot of celebrity talent in this. In the opening alone you get James Caan, Fran Drescher, Chris Kattan, Rebecca Gayhart, all in the same opening shot. And then, throughout the film, we get Robert Culp, who I was just in Silent Night, Deadly Night that I reviewed a little while ago. Douglas, jo Douglas Smith, who has been in The Bye Bye Man. <gasps> And then Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Emily DeRaven from Lost, who has an American accent in this film. Saul Rubinek, who's been in everything from Warehouse 13 to Leverage. So yeah, it's a interesting cast. Oh, and Bill Goldberg, of course. Oh, and Dave Thomas, because Canada. And then basically, Santa is now free to kill people. And he's going around killing people. That's what it is. And so, Douglas Smith plays the grandson of the angel who put him away. If you're an angel, I know you can have a grandson, but I'm not questioning how this movie works. It's too weird. But, yes. And when Grandpa gets killed, I know he's an angel, so I don't understand that, but... It's up to Douglas Smith to save the day. No, I did not bother learning their names. I think Emily Raven's character is named Mac. There's this weird scene where she's, I'm sure, forced to dance to hip hop music inside. I'm not, I'm not against hip hop music, but music in this film sucks. And the hip hop she's forced to dance to, it's terrible. The music in this film is terrible. A lot of this, probably stuff that was personally composed for this film, that was just stuff they threw in there. Uh, the kills are actually pretty good. There's a couple. There's one uh, in a stripper, in a strip club, where he takes the center takes the stripper pole, throws it in this guy's arm, shoves it up into the elect, uh, like a light lamp, and causes him to be electrocuted. That's pretty cool. Um, a few other ones that are all right. The opening kills are kind of weird, too. Right, he sets Fran Drescher's hair on fire, which is kind of cool. Um, overall, 
Apollo, this film is just, it's weird, it's strange, but I don't know. But in this film, they get the town folk to help them shoot down Santa Claus, including Mac's father, who where there is a running joke that he's a hunter. Uh, and there's a scene where she brings some Wolverine. Do, do, do people eat Wolverine? I've never, ever heard of anyone, I sir, deer, caribou, but Wolverine? Hugh Jackman must be pissed watching this movie. But I digress. There's a running joke to her father is a hunting enthusiast. And by the end, he's the one that shoots the bazooka at Santa's sleigh and supposedly kills him. We find out that it's actually Dave Thomas in a Santa costume, which we know is not the real Santa. And then we get a little thing afterwards where he's at an airport and his name is Shitan. I don't know. And then a post credit stinger where he does this catchphrase. Who's next? As you can tell, I wasn't too impressed by this film, but I wanted to give it a shot. I've been hearing, heard so much. Well, the most exciting thing about this film is how I'm trying to find it. Because it was on Tubi uh, when I was doing the Silent Billy Night movies. I kept seeing it pop up. But I went back to look for it, and it was gone. For some reason, I couldn't find it anywhere. Found it on YouTube, though. Decent quality. It's fine, it's just nothing to write home about. Mm. Probably give it a five. If you want schlock, sure. It's a fun little movie. Get you some entertainment, I guess. But nothing really special. So, let me know your thoughts on Santa's sleigh in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and, uh, happy holidays. Hey, don't give me that. It's Merry Christmas. Fine. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Now go fuck yourself. Well then. And that note...